Coming up in today's food adventure, we've got rice in crabs, meat cooked on shells, and noodles wrapped in lettuce. Oh, and I'm joined by a very special guest. Oh, I'm gonna die. In a good way or a bad in way? In a good way. Hello, hello, and welcome back to another Chinese food adventure. It's time for another Dongbei day trip. I'm currently on the train, hurtling towards my next destination, and I'm very, very excited because today I'm not actually alone. I am joined by fellow Chinese food enthusiast and food blogger, Wu Yu Xiang. Patrick, hello. Hello, hello. It's so cool to have you in Dongbei. Thanks for having me. It's and your first time, right? It's my first time in Dongbei and actually we already had some food yes, I last took, night. Yes, I took Patrick out last night for some typical Dongbei food. First impressions, what do you think? A lot of meat. <laughs> Yeah, you can say that again. We were literally drinking the bone marrow with straws. Anyway, you can check out that fun video on Patrick's channel. So today, the food adventure is continuing. We are currently on the train. We're heading east, about two and a half hours from Changchun to a small city about 50 kilometers away from the China-North Korea border called Yanji. Yanji is located in the center of the Yanbian Korean Autonomous Prefecture. It's estimated that almost half of the population here are Chaosianzu, ethnically Korean. And this accounts for a vibrant food scene that you can find here. It's become a huge foodie destination seeing people come from all around the country to eat. Us included, I guess. We're gonna have like so much amazing food today and there's just so many options when it comes to oh, food yeah. here in Yanji. Yeah. So obviously we can't eat everything. So the restaurants that I've chosen for today are the foods that I've never eaten before that okay. really appeal to when I see photos online. I'm like, oh, I want to try that. And so our first dish today is really something I've never seen before. We have arrived at Zhenhai Beikhao Bei, a popular local restaurant that I've been seeing a lot online. As soon as you enter the restaurant, you've got all this fresh seafood for you to choose from. Yanji is eating seafood? Of course. Look at this guy. Hello. Uh, How are you? It's so big. Oh my. Wow. 188 you know why they do that? Why? Because sometimes say you, you think that you eat that pangxia and then they switch it to another one in the kitchen so you pay actually more and then they, they give you another one, a smaller oh one. So that it, that you get exactly the pangxia you want it, you have to biao chi the little one. Does it fit to it or it perfectly fits? So it's your pang here. Okay, so I have my little crab leg here. Can't get over this, this is so funny. And then we have our little grill here. We're on kind of a shared table here to make some new friends. And yeah, this is already super hot from these hot coals. So I have ordered three things. The first thing is this crab with actually rice inside, which looks very interesting. Then I have also gotten this here, which is beef cooked in a shell, which I've definitely never seen before. And uh, the third thing I have gotten is this here. It's barbecued scallop, but the first item to arrive on our grill was the beef here. And I've really never seen a cooking method like this. I've done a lot of like barbecued meat in the past, but I've never seen meat barbecued in a shell, like a... I, I've never seen it. I've never seen it before. Also, our scallops arrived, and check out how big and juicy they are. They're cooked for a bit on the grill, then taken off to cut into small pieces, then put back on the grill again until they're ready to eat. I'm so excited to try this. This is like scallop, but it's absolutely massive. It's this massive scallop that's been cut up into little slices. He just told us that, you know, we have this soy sauce and um, wasabi here, but he says probably Don't. best just to eat it by, it yeah. by itself. He said like, you have to try it here and weigh it. Well, let's try it fresh yeah. out of the ocean. Okay. <laughs> let's do this. Mm. Mm, so tender. Oh, it's so good. It's sweet. It's sweet. It's sweet. You wouldn't want to put any flavor on this. No, it's already. Not. It's sweet. The texture is like, Really soft bubble gum. It's really good, but I really want to try it with um, the wasabi. I will pay Nietzsche. I love it. It's good? Oh, it's, it... Also good, but it's it covers good. up the natural flavor. But it's still really good. Okay, looks like our beef in shell is just about done, and that smell is just oh so sweet and fragrant. Let's, let's, let's just try it. Go for it. <laughs> 
what's happening? Good, bad, thumbs up, thumbs down. The, the weird thing is, it, it's also a little bit sweet. It's maybe oh. because of the shell that 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 it gets steamed in that shell, so it it, it gets that sweet texture out of yeah. it. Try, 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 try. Oh my gosh! So it's also got onion in here as well. We got our onions. We got onions. It looks yeah. Look at that. Oh yeah. No, oh, for good. It's so good. It's yeah, as you said, it's sweet. It's oniony. And you, uh, kind of like you, you have to huang yo. It tastes a little, like a little bit like butter. Yeah, uh, yeah, it a is. Butter, butter flavor in there. It's almost creamy. It's creamy. That's the word. Yeah, yeah it's creamy. Oh, we need to show you this because what has just arrived? It is our massive crab. Man, that crab looks like That's cake. So Do you watch the show? Is it cake? Uh, no. So there's a show on Netflix and it's called Is It Cake? I'm like addicted to it. Never heard of it. And basically it's these very talented chefs that take everyday objects and turn it into cake. And it's so realistic. And now everywhere in my life that I go, I'm looking at things and I'm like, is it cake? Is, is it, it cake? not? It looks like cake. That crab looks like a cake. <laughs> not cake. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh okay. now, 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 now we important. have to verify. Mm. This is so funny. But yep, seems we've got a match. Yeah, it's so good. So he's basically taking up all the legs, opening it as for us, and then just placing it here so we can easily access our meat. And then I'm not sure where the rice comes in, but I'm very, very intrigued to see how this is going to work. So he takes apart the body, making sure to save that yellow stuff there. That's the hepatopancreas, also known as crab mustard or crab butter. Now it gets interesting. So he mixes up all those crab goodies with the rice and then puts the mixture back into the shell. So I guess in this way, you can really make the most of every little bit of that crab. So we've basically got three main elements here. First, the legs. They're absolutely stuffed with juicy meat and you can just use your finger to slide it out effortlessly. It's sweet. It's sweet and a little bit bitter. Oh, it's sweet. And a little bit bitter. Mm, it is. Then you've got the body that you eat together with that yellow crab butter that I mentioned earlier. Man, it's good they give you gloves for this because this really gets messy. The body tastes different. I think from that yellow stuff, it has a a certain flavor coming at me. It's more crabby than the leg was. And then last but not least, we have the mixed rice served in that bowl-like crab shell. So cool. Mmm. Mmm. It's awesome. I love the um, texture from the eggs. They yeah. burst in your mouth. Yeah, it's like little bubbles. Like uh, you're having a bubble tea. Yeah. 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 You bite on a bubble and a bloop. Exactly. And you know how we mentioned that that beef is creamy? Yeah. I feel like this is really creamy too. It is even creamier. But this is only one half of today's food adventure. We've still got dinner and spoiler alert, it's just as amazing as this was. We are at our second stop. We're here for an early dinner. It's still light, but it's time for dinner because I hear this place gets very, very busy. So we're here Ooh. early to get a table. And I see on the sign here, it's been in business for 17 years. Making something called bao fan. Bao fan. Yeah. We eat bao fan. <laughs> yeah, we're having bao fan, and I guess bao fan. The literal translation we were just talking in English is a uh, bag food. Bao bag fan. food. <laughs> it doesn't really sound good in English, but to be honest, if you say it in Chinese, like bao fan, I can feel already like my mouth getting always a little bit yeah. watery. It's basically all these foods that you put inside these lettuce leaves. It's gonna be amazing. Let's I'm so eat. excited. Let's go in. <laughs> gonna eat a lot of bao fan. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, Hi. it seems this is the time to come, Hi. guys. It we is 4.30 p.m. And uh, we almost have this place to ourselves. This is great. The, yeah, it's quiet. <laughs> yeah. And we've got to take off our shoes because at this restaurant, you can also choose to sit on the floor. How good yeah. does that look? So as I mentioned, this bao fan concept is food wrapped in various varieties of lettuce leaves. And it seems like there are just so many combinations you can make with all different ingredients. So it seems they have like a meat platter here. And um, I'm also really keen to get this tofu. Xia xia jiang. Xia jiang dofu. So shrimp tofu. And since we're here in Yanji, of course we've got to get some lung mian, cold noodles too. So we wanted to get one more dish, but we couldn't decide between this guo ba, crispy rice with beef sauce, or this fish here. We are stuck between two options. So I know that the Ming Tai Yu is really popular here. It's a Yan Bian and she's just yeah. clarified that for us. But this is their Tosa of the restaurant, and so 
I would go for the tears of the restaurant. She also said this one, so we'll go for this one, huh? Like, yeah. like for dinner. And it's, it's actually interesting because they give you two food. And of course, we had to order some mi jiu. It's a lightly alcoholic beverage made with fermented rice with roughly 1% alcohol content. It comes in many flavors, but we opted for the corn flavor. Oh, it's sweet. It's interesting, it has like a buzziness on my tongue, a little it bit has. like zappy. Yeah. Oh, it's good. And it has an aftertaste of um, of rice. Oh, what, what just happened? <laughs> so in the in the time that we've been drinking our mijo, some things have happened on our table. Check this out. This is an absolutely amazing table of food. Massive. Uh, you know what I love? Mm. I love eating with someone else because it means I can order way more food and sure. have way more variety. So this is really great. This looks really good. It's a concoction made of uh, tofu and shrimp. And then we have our uh, meat plate over here. We yeah. have ban long mian. That is actually awesome because it's actually without the soup. And what, what I love about long mian, because it's cold noodles and they really put ice cubes in there. You would never. Are there ice cubes in this? What, what do you oh think? my gosh, yes! They also cut up the noodles for you with scissors for ease of eating. And uh, we have all of these like yummy veggies here that I guess we're so gonna much. put all our meat inside. And it, they actually gifted us this here as well, which is um, some raw, I think it's shrimp. You love it, you, you said you love it. Yeah, I've been wanting to try this as yeah, well. There's yeah. a lot of like raw and marinated seafoods that you can find here. And they pair it with rice and also some seaweed. So I think we're gonna be very, very full walking out of yeah. here. What do, you, what do you think we should go for first? I guess we should probably have a, a balfan, since we're at a balfan place. No, I would actually try this, yeah. You know what, let's do it. Here you go. Okay. How's it smell? It doesn't smell like shrimp. It doesn't? It really? doesn't smell like anything at all. Yeah, I'm not, I wasn't expecting I, that. No, I thought it was no. gonna be a bit more. Right, let's shrimp. try it. Let's yeah. try it. Oh. Sweet. It's, it tastes better than it smells. The smell really isn't... That's actually very Ooh. interesting. It's a whack bang of flavor, mm. actually. And it's spicy a little bit. It is a bit spicy. <clears throat> Sweet and spicy at the same time. I really love it. I think that's going to taste really good in the wraps with the meat because it's almost just like a sauce yeah, on its own. Yeah. I think you can put it together with the pork, to be honest. For well, shall sure. we do that? Yeah, we should do it right away. You have different leaves. I love that about that food here. Yeah. And let, let's just take a leaf and put whatever you want in there. And you also have all these like like pickles yeah. and I guess like some yeah. cucumbers and some fresh veggies that you can put in as well. Like. Don't you know? Don't you know? Don't you know? Okay. We got the sauce here as well. So it's a very like brown sauce. Yeah. So I put a little bit of this on. Okay. Then I have meat. I have a bite. Oh, it doesn't. So basically, I think we just make combinations as we see fit. It almost became a competition, seeing who can come up with the most interesting and tastiest combination. And what I love about this here is every bite was a different flavor and texture experience. Should we try this? Because we've yeah. been eating this for bar. But we've actually not Guoba. tried it with yeah. the yeah. with the sauce. So we dipped it in there, making sure to get a bit of that beef, onion, and chili on our guaba at once. Mmm, the and sauce is very sweet. I got a lot of It's spicy. Are you not very good with spice? No. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> So we also have these marinated uh, prawns, raw prawns to be exact, and they're absolutely smothered in this red, rich, spicy sauce. So you simply put a prawn on a piece of seaweed, add some rice, which is seasoned with sesame oil actually, and there you go, pop it in your mouth. How does it, mm. how does it taste? Mm. I think that might be my favorite thing on this table. The prawn has no sing way. It, there's no like weird fishiness. It feels very fresh. The rice has the perfect amount of nuttiness that contrasts against the spice. And then the seaweed, it's like crispy and it falls apart in your mouth a lot easier than even like the lettuce. So exactly. I feel like, I mean, I think this is my star of the show. But what I didn't mention is it's also a little bit spicy. So let's see how Patrick goes with this. Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> in a good way or a bad in way? In a good way. But it only took a few seconds for that spice to hit. Man, you really can't deal with spice, can you? <laughs> okay, up next we've got our ban lang mian, cold mixed noodles. So cold, in fact, it's served with ice cubes. It looks so good. It looks like, yeah. Wait. Oh. Oh. 
Oh my god, I got sauce all over my camera. Mm. Mm. Yum. Wow. Wow. Uh, this is my first time having long mian that aren't served in a soup. And actually, this is like long mian is one of like the most famous foods from here in Yeji. But I actually wasn't planning on ordering it today because it's something that I have a lot in Chongchun. Like I eat it almost once a week because it's just Because you're in Dongbei, you have it. Yeah. It's always delicious. Yeah. But this is my first time having it without the soup and it's completely different. It is a little spicy. It, it's a little spicy. It's a little spicy. It's also like everything else we've eaten on the sweeter side. It's got some meat in there that's more on the drier side as well. And so it kind of, it's like a combination of textures and flavors. It's really good, but watch out, it'll fall everywhere. For, for, for me, to be honest, it's a little bit too chunko way. A little bit. To counteract this heavy flavor profile, the boss actually recommended we can put a little bit of noodles into a lettuce wrap along with a piece of meat and eat it like that. And this place definitely starts to fill up after a while. It was full by 6 p.m. So keep that in mind if you want a line up free dining experience. Thank you for joining me here in Yambian. And thanks for having me. Here. But the adventure is not over. Tomorrow morning, very, very, very early, we are going to a local breakfast market. So yeah. I'm really, really excited for that to try some like local little snacks and stuff like that. So yeah, we will see you next week on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thanks. And yeah, see you guys next week. Bye. See you bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>